We're here in Birmingham, Alabama. One of the greatest states in the United States of America, Alabama. And we're gonna show you our, our iron. wieners. <laughs> we're gonna show you our metal. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. So right here we have the Roman god Vulcan. It's the large cast iron statue in the world, allegedly. Uh, it was built for the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. They sent it up to the wonderful state of Missouri, the actual best state in the country, just above Alabama. And then after the fair, they brought it back here where it now resides atop this, overlooking the beautiful city. Let's go to the top. Look at all this beautiful industry. Yeah, that's where they get coal, iron, limestone. Directly behind me, we have mine workers who, it has their individual stories. And if there's one thing I know about Justin, he really loves miners. So this is gonna be a treat for everybody. That's right. <laughs> These are some examples of the uh, ores that they get here, by the way. The three big ones, iron ore, limestone, coal. And for you guys from Cuba slash Colombia, they also got some Coke. Ah, 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 ah. You get out of the mine. Oh, wow, you found a lot. I didn't know there was even, they had those. There's a gold coin you haven't found? I bet it's probably around here. Let's see if we can help you find it. We'll let you know if we find the gold coin. Good <laughs> luck on it. <laughs> All right, so we picked out one of these scavenger hunt things. The first one I noticed pretty... You can't give away the positions. You're ruining everybody else's lives. <laughs> hey, I'm only going to give a few away. This one and maybe the gold... No, I can't give away the gold coin. If you want to do it, you got to find it yourself, but we're not going to cheat. We'll, we'll find them all and we'll tell you if we get them all. We don't abide cheaters. But I am going to check this one off right there. It's been a long and arduous journey up these stairs, but we've made it to the top. I'm out of breath. I'm sweating, but it's well worth this view. Most likely the best view in all of Birmingham. Let's go beep this out. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, goo. Beep. People love when you make loud, annoying, obnoxious noises. All right, just one more item left, and I think I know where it is. All right, the last item is actually this Sloss Furnace. Uh, the last item is actually this Sloss Furnace plaque, and that's actually our next stop. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you there, right? Yeah. It's on video. Here. In the house of Ogun. This is where Ogun is made. At this old iron foundry. Let's go beat this out, my Ogus. Yeah, this part, if we're even allowed to be here, uh, you just kind of walk through an old meal. I definitely don't think that's a pill bug, my boy. What is it? Looks like a caterpillar almost to me. Coochie, 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 coochie. <laughs> we love that. Are we allowed in here? Hello. They're making things here. One of them all you can Molds access. or something. Molds of something. Oh, yeah. As a professional camera installer, how much would it cost to wire up a security system like that? I would say, I don't know. You're failing at your, your career. I left that life. Now I'm a paper pushing bureaucrat. It goes. 
Yeah, we're not in the Rust Belt, definitively not. But this is, I guess, what that would probably look like in a lot of those Midwestern towns. Yeah. Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Columbus. We don't have nothing like this in Florida. We never had no industry except the tourism industry. Actually, that's not true. Uh, the area that I've recently moved into near Lakeland, uh, the Lakeland Metro, we had uh, phosphate in the nearby communities. And cigars. That's a very minor, irrelevant part of our history. I'll say like this. We don't got nothing like this out in the Tampa Bay area. Pro tip, if you want to get a free souvenir and not have to pay, they got iron all over the ground. If you live in a place that doesn't have iron, get you some while you're in Birmingham. So what do you think of the governor? Um, I don't have a whole lot of opinions. We all call her Mimo Ivy. Um, she's like everyone's Mimo in Alabama, I guess. So. All right. Generally well, positive? Uh, well. I mean, it could go either way. No, every meme all has got her positives and her negatives. All right, very good point. All right, what is your general opinion of the governor of Alabama? Uh, general opinion right now, she did a little bit better of a job. Could do a little bit better? Okay. A little bit better. I mean, okay. got, got, got some issues that, that she needs to look at a little bit better, so yeah. All right. Okay, thank, thank you. you. So, Go ahead. All right, what do you think of the governor of Alabama? Meemaw Ivy, I've heard. Yeah. Uh, I really don't. I really don't interest have interest in stuff like that. But in, in my in my in my idea, I think she's a good governor. Good governor. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Question is, do you like the governor of Alabama? Oh, I think he's done a lot of very like public programs like i've seen his name on a lot of things isn't it uh the woman mammy k it's the woman Wait, who's the, the governor oh the governor uh i think that she does not focus on the things that i think matter she focuses on kind of like the hot button topics um i think there are more important things going on but so i would say i do not okay all right, thank you for being honest. Yeah. Emma, do you like her or not? Something about Momo. That's right. We heard that. A little conservative, but I like her. I'm conservative myself. All right, thank you. Yeah. Well, guys, I guess we've learned today that the Birmingham general consensus on the governor is a little bit more complex. And they just love the governor. Sorry, I didn't make that funny, guys, but we got a pretty mixed bag review. All right, guys, we're in Saw's Barbecue and Soul Food here in Birmingham, Alabama. And as our resident Southern food expert, I've come to try some onion rings, macaroni and cheese, and pulled pork, as well as an Arnold Palmer. So, interesting onion rings. I don't think I've ever seen them like this before. Delicious. I actually like those. Those are really good. Everything looks really fantastic. These are very impressive. Yeah, these are really impressive onion rings. I'll say that. These are probably the best onion rings I've ever had. Take a big old fat sloppy bite of that whole poke skin. It's all right. I'm from Kansas City. Enough said. I'll give only that as my opinion on this. Now here's the macaroni and cheese. Here's what makes, separates the boys from the men. It's all right, it's okay. Better than Bojangles? I don't know, probably yeah. The onion rings would set it out for me, but the honor Palmer I did have a little bit of, and it's very good. <laughs> All right, so I got the kernel sandwich. I don't know why I'm yelling. I got the kernel sandwich. It's a pimento cheese with pickles and chicken sandwich. It looks really good. I love pimento cheese. 
and it's a sloppy boy. Look at that with the white sauce. Alabama's known for its white barbecue sauce, which is a mayo-based sauce. Alabama is also not one of the barbecue capitals of America, but they are known for its sauce. So let that let that stand for what it is on the sauce. That might be one of the best chicken sandwiches I've ever had. Like Heike, that's a really good chicken sandwich. And he's been to Nashville. And I have been to Nashville. I got an Allnerd Palmer, but it's with moonshine and it's really got a kick. I think it's just lemonade with moonshine, isn't it? No, it's lemonade and tea with moonshine. Also, they said this is uh, tea chicken. Like they, they marinate the chicken in tea, which is pretty interesting. And I got some fried pickle chips with more of that white barbecue sauce. They know how to fry here. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I love Birmingham, Alabama. I hope you do too now. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell us what you want to do next. South will rise again. South, south.